Good afternoon, my name is Rob Lowe. I'm a programs director here at Groval Tennis Facility. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to hit a backhand, two-handed backhand, like Taylor Fritz. Okay, for those of you that uh, don't know Taylor Fritz, uh, he is a young, aspiring, uh, young tennis professional here uh, out of the United States. He's the next generation, I mean it, next generation. Um, everyone talks about his forehand, but today, as you know, I'm gonna talk about how solid and how basic his two-handed backhand really is. Okay, the, one, the first thing that I'm gonna talk about in terms of Taylor Fritz's two-handed backhand is his unit turn, okay? One of the first things he does is he keeps his racket elevated, okay? And as you see, my right arm isn't hyperextended. So those of you at home that like to have a bent, L, uh, bent right arm, that's not necessarily the way. You wanna slightly extend that right arm to ensure that you get a right shoulder turn. And there's your Taylor Fritz unit turn. Okay, so moving on from the unit turn that I just demonstrated in the video, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is his strike zone, or what we call his contact point, okay? So as we all know, it's a left-handed forehand, okay? So once we're in that unit turn here, we've got our racket elevated, we're gonna get a high to low load here, and then our racket, which is all left, or all left, needs to extend from in to out. For those of you at home, if you find yourself bending your right arm, it is going to navigate your left arm and your strike zone will now be too close to your body, okay? So make sure that your left arm here extends and the strike zone is out in front of your body. Okay, okay, so this is, now don't tell anyone, this is a Rob Lowe top tip, okay? I'm a big believer in moving parts, moving problems, okay? So let's, let's, let's recap. Units turn, he's loaded. His strike zone is out in front, making sure that his left arm is extended. Now. This is the move, this is what everybody does. Okay, watch my left arm. If you're a culprit at home that pulls horizontal across your body, please, for my sake, for everybody's sake, please don't do that. Okay, so what I want to make sure you do, there is zero moving parts here. It is what we call, the technical term, a vertical swing plane. Taylor Fritz does it so well. Okay, and it's gonna look a little bit like this. As he makes that strike zone here, he lifts vertically with the left left and notice I haven't moved any parts of my body and it's a nice compact follow through. Okay so now's the time ladies and gentlemen that I'm going to try my best to perform a Taylor Fritz two-handed backhand. Wish me luck. Okay, so all the millions of viewers out there, that is a two-handed Taylor Fritz backhand. Just to make sure, food for your thoughts. Moving parts, moving problems. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.